I always enjoyed drawing. As a child, you just want to communicate simple stories, you know, this is my mom, this is my dad, and this is where we went. And then as you kind of grow, you know, the narrative becomes, you know, more complex. The interest in socio-political economic aspects, it began just from being part of different communities that were exposed to such extreme realities. Because I've lived in country, you know, that were rich, that were poor, that were war-stricken, you know, when you would see the conflict, you would feel it. And as you grow artistically, you begin to look for ways for you to transmit that experience and to start scratching away at the surface and understand more, you know, why are we here and how did we get here and why are our views so fundamentally different when viewing the exact same thing. I am creating a duality in the work because I'm offering you something beautiful and radiant in the visual. It is not until you begin to actually read the words that you may feel that the direction has taken a turn. Well, let's face it, most people don't read the words, but I don't do it for most people. The fingerprint is a kind of an obvious connection to the human figure. What are we leaving behind? What's our contribution? And so that's how I like to play, you know, it's kind of like society, you know, a little bit of it is, is just beauty and, and it's just decadent, you know, lush. And then the rest, you want to be thoughtful. There are certain aspects of life that you do not need to be respectful of and considerate, especially when you're married to a black woman and you have children that represent the union of yourself and that culture. If you cannot respect that fundamentally, then we're done. Yes, anything else is up for debate. I want to analyze our current socio-political environment in the United States. How could we not? address it as artists, you know, today. You know, it's, it's everything, it's fundamental, it's, it's definitive. In my work, I try to make sense of things. I'm, I mean, I'm not necessarily successful at it because things are complicated, you know. I'm not offering you any answers. No piece of work is a definitive answer, but it should be an interesting question. I, I think the main legacy, you know, to leave for any artist is that I said I would and I did. Not each individual piece that you did, but the fact that you did it. The fact that you had a vision, you had an interest, you thought your ideals and your morals mattered. If you could leave something behind and make it so that it was only productive and it didn't take away from anything else or anyone else, then I say that's great. <laughs>